Wait, you can? Uh, something's something's not right. Uh, am I am I doing it correctly? Yes. Excuse me, fellas. Uh, something's wrong with my screen. Am I? Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Just pretend. I just pretend. Just pretend. Uh. Let me just start again. Let me just start again. Cause I I started off kind of badly. Okay. Okay. What was it? Well, what was that all about? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat box what kind of sound that was. Come on, fellas. Let me let me hear in the chat box. See what kind of animal do you think you've heard? <clears throat> see, one says he's heard a monkey. All I see is a lot of emojis. I thought this was a wildlife. Um, this was a wildlife thing. Why are there no animal themed emojis? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, hi everybody. This is Black Rhino Ranger. And uh, today, according to the United Nations, is World Wildlife Day. For some reason, I thought that would be something WWF would, would do. World Wildlife Fund. Something that my family is highly associated with. Heck, my uncle was a chair... My granduncle was a chairman of WWF Malaysia. <laughs> I see people have been listening to a pig, a bee, grizzly, monkey, lion, fish. Run for your lives! I also heard tiger, gorilla. <laughs> okay, um... Now for this for this type of request for this occasion I'm I'm going to be a now here's the thing though if you if you're going before you request me anything I want you to know that the some of these some of what I ask may be a bit complicated and you must at least have a bit of knowledge on the wildlife at least a little bit of of an uh, do you have any do any of you have any animal encyclopedias if you do then you might know a good chunk of animals Yes. Um, so for this uh, for this occasion, you can ask me which type of animal to draw. They are they in which option should it be? Should it be by continents, like animals from each continent? Like in North America, we have animals like a wolf, a wolverine, a moose, a grizzly bear, a skunk. In South America, we have um, a tapir, a caiman, a jaguar, an anaconda, a tarantula. In Asia, we have a panda, we have an, um, 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 a panda, um, let's see, uh, well, I've forgotten that. a civet, um, uh, what was it again, um, I, I know there's, there's plenty on top of my head, um, there's a tiger, in Africa, we have elephants, rhinos, hippos, lions, cheetahs, okapis, giraffes, zebras, in Europe, we have the badger, the fox, the the kestrel, the um, shrew, a couple of rats. In Australia, there's the saltwater crocodile, there's the kangaroo, koala, Tasmanian devil, etc. In Antarctica, there's the penguin, the elephant, seal. Um, definitely no walruses, but definitely some krill. There's the other islands, which has um, which has creatures like the Galapagos giant tortoise, the Galapagos marine iguana, a fusa from Madagascar, a ring-tailed lemur also from Madagascar, etc. Or if you're not wanting any island creatures, what about just by the oceans? This includes uh, the killer whale, the great white shark, the dolphin, the um, uh, the narwhal, etc. And in the or in the end, just anywhere else. I can have two of these animals. 
Or you can choose by the environment. So you can ask me an animal that resides in the desert, like a scorpion and a fennec fox. Something in the woods, like a moose or a grizzly bear. Something in the jungle, like a tiger or a gorilla. Something in the sn in, in snowy regions, like, um, like a penguin or an arctic hare. Something in the mountains, like a mountain goat and an ibex. Something in the wetlands, like a hippo and a saltwater crocodile. Something in the savannah, like an elephant or a rhino. Something in the oceans, like I said, the great white shark, the dolphin, the killer whale. Something in the skies, like an albatross or an eagle. Something on the ground, like a tarantula or a mole. Or something in suburban legends. Either why, some, yeah, there are some wild animals that live in suburban areas. I mean, I, I remember encountering a couple of monkeys in my, next to my house as a kid. And um, I hear some people have a few, a couple of snakes. Or in, or in England, they, they are sightings of a fox and a badger. Hmm. Uh, or anywhere else. And, or, you can, or if you like, you can choose by specific class. There's the mammals, which includes a, the rhino, the elephant, the wolf, the lion, the tiger, the bats, the platypus, the uh, um, whales, the dolphins, or something reptilian like a crocodile, a snake, a chameleon, a lizard, a fi some fishy like a great white shark, or a stingray, or an electric eel. Something feathery, like a, like an eagle, an owl, a vulture, a raven. Something uh, that's very buggy, like an, an ant, a grasshopper, um, a, a bee. Or something that's close to being a reptile, but still resorts to the water's edge. Hinge. Um, they're called amphibians, like a frog, a, liz a toad, a newt, and a salamander. There's, al there's also an arachnid, which includes spiders, ticks, mites, and scorpions. Crustaceans, which includes shrimp, prawns, crabs, lobsters. Our soft vertebrates, including sea sponges, snails, octopus, etc. Um, and something that's no longer living with us, but they were pretty cruel and pretty dangerous back then, like the dinosaurs, like a T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor. Something that never existed at all, but has been recorded in history, like a Bigfoot, the unicorn, the, um, the uh, uh, behemoth, the uh, chimera, etc. Um, or a micro, or something that's so small that we can't even see with our own eyes, like a, like a bacteria, or a, or um some like bacteria or heck there's even a a, a a little cell creature called a hydra yes named after the mythical beast there is an actual single cell tiny cell creature called a hydra and in the end you can ask me to combine two animals into one similar to impossible creatures or dingo doll from crush bandicoot or there's a made up animal as in he's an alien kind of like a xenomorph or he's just out of your imagination, like Bing Bong from Inside Out. And then there's um, and then there's the conservation status. Now this one is, like I said, is a bit complicated. Your animal history, you may not know about this one. It's when these animals are declared or clarified as extinct or close. How, how well can you spot them? Are they super common or are they about to become extinct or are they already extinct? Like what's extinct is something like um, a, a, the dinosaurs, the dodo, the uh, Tasmanian tiger, etc. What's extinct in the wild means that you can see them in domesticated, but you no longer see them in the wild. Her does a lot of it happens to a lot of hamsters and possibly the camel. I don't know. <laughs> There's the critically endangered one, which means they are close to becoming extinct. Like the uh, the black rhinoceros, that's critically endangered, or something that's just endangered, not super endangered, but just endangered, but still a bit of a threat, like a uh, um, an elephant, something that's not quite endangered, but is also quite threatened, like a uh, vulnerable, that's a hippopotamus, something that's near threatened, 
very common, but it poached, like the white rhino. That is called near threatened. It's one of the least cons part of the least concerned in things, as in the lower risk li list section. Conservation dependent. Um, I am not so sure about that one myself. I forgot. It's uh, something a black caiman is in. And then there's the least concerned, which means you can find them anywhere. They 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 multiply like rabbits. And then there's the date dis, then then there's date dis deficient, which means they we have no proper record on this ca animal's existence. They are there, but we don't know how many. Like a killer whale. Oh, that one currently is a da data deficient. I think it's data or data, depending on how you pronounce it. And these are the three options, and they can be in e either in any of these. They c your your request can be anything like these, like. They can be either the animals themselves, just their wild animal-like things, or you can ask me to draw your own characters based on those animals, or you can have existing characters based on the animals, like uh, Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or Bugs Bunny, or um, characters interacting with an animals. Let's say a uh, star butterfly hugging a panda bear, or Lenny now un um, being frightened of a tarantula. Kind of like in the episode Along Came the Sister. Um, char or characters dressing up as said animals. Like uh, you can have uh, um, Eddie dressing up as, a, as an elephant. Actually, Eddie did kind of dress up as an elephant in Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show. <laughs> and Or you can have uh, characters mutated into animals. Like a science experiment gone wrong or a spell or something like that. It, or... And, and then there's the hybrids. Um, choose any choose any of this first and then uh, oops uh, choose any of this first and then choose this. Which ones do you decide? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Um characters by class, by class. Alright, alright, that's what you want. Sorry if I took so long because, uh, like I said, this one's going to be a bit of a longer one. Um, okay, which one? Do you want the characters interacting? Do you want the characters dressed up? Do you want characters based on those animals or just the animals themselves? Which one do you want? Um, Um, which one do you... Let's see. Okay, whatever I want, eh? Alright, um... Characters based on them, existing characters... Um, characters, existing animals themselves... Oh, I know, um... Ooh, lots and lots of people want characters based on... Whatever you think... You know what, I, I'll, I won't bother with this list, um, I'll... I think, uh, I think this list is just enough. So, yeah, okay, what's the first animal you want me to draw? Now, if you have nothing to request, just ask me um, any question you like. Just ask me any question you like if you have nothing to request. And if you like, you can uh, use the super chat. George, oh, uh... You're an elephant in an elephant shrew. I've seen, I have heard of the elephant shrew. I have a, I have a book about that. Hmm. Hmm. There's no, there, there is a, there is another animal I know that uh, you, that has a, that kind of looks like an elephant shrew, but is, considered that but is has been extinct for like nearly 50 years it was called a leptictidium uh, it, it means delicate weasel it, it looks like um it's said to look like um a shrew that hops hmm. it has a long nose that twitches and it some say it was a uh, some say it, it also looks like an elephant shrew shrew but apparently it has no close living relatives it died out
Now to draw a little uh, shrew. There we go, fellas. We have an elephant with an elephant shrew. And you can... What did I miss? Oh, you uh, you missed a long speech I had about request how to request an animal in my podcast. You know what? Just to keep a rehab, request me any animal by any of these classes. Okay, so people like draw a Draco lizard. Ooh, you mean those flying lizards? So apparently they have this little uh, thing on their um so their fin so they have a sail on their chins that's an, that's something different hmm. Wait, 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 um, something ain't right, um... There we go, fellas. We have a, a Draco, oh, also known as a flying lizard. Did you know that Draco means dragon in Greek or Latin? <laughs> a reptinoid alien. Who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Huh, that's a tough one. I mean, there's a lot I really... There are a lot of characters I really enjoy. There's... Reptile, who was the first Mortal Kombat character I ever played, but of course I also like Scorpion. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I also like Striker, the guy, the, the SWAT guy, and Borecho. <laughs> and um, if there's also Shiva and Jade, they're some of my favorites too. Um, I think I also like Geras, not not just because of he him being a time guy. He's his voice is also, it's just there's something about his voice that makes me uh, rather calm. Like uh, I'm, that makes me um, something addictive about his voice. It's like uh, um, actors leave no mark on history. And Johnny Cage goes Ronald Reagan, and Geras is like the proves the rule. There. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, who was it again? Okay, the fish. The fish. By the way, fellas, um, now despite what most people say, not all sharks are 
dangerous. There are quite a number of sharks that are all right amongst humans. For example, there's a there's a, a whale shark, the biggest shark in the world, and uh, very friend and has is no threat to humans. There's also a shark, a shark that literally has no teeth. And um, there's also the sand tiger shark, which is a, uh, which is a very well, which is a shark that um, has looks really scary. But despite that, it's actually a really friendly shark, except on one condition: during during birth, the youngster eats all the dominant, si eats all the other siblings inside the mother's stomach before it is born. Eh, really creepy. Let's see, um... Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Wanapin. Uh, what the, uh... Oh, oh, okay, that's, that's a new one. I've seen, I've seen... That type of fish before. It was, uh, I think it was in, uh... I think it was in, uh... uh I think it was in, um... Uh, what was it? Again? I think it was in Ark Survival of Vol. A couple of the uh, Ko. Ko is it Kulen Kulenkath or K Kolenkath? I I don't know. Um, I don't know. There are some animals I kind of forgot how to pronounce their names. Hmm. I have to look them up later. I mean, it took me a while to realize that it wasn't uh, Diplodocus, it was Diplodocus. And uh, it wasn't... Um, and it wasn't uh, Ankylosaurus, it's Ankylosaurus. And it wasn't... Um, I mean, in fact, there are some there are some dinosaur names that are quite hard to pronounce, like uh, like Parasaurolophus. Some people say say it's Parasaurolophus. Yes. It wasn't until Prehistoric Park that had had Parasaurolophus. And um, there's um, it's um. Um, see, I might spam as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not spam on my, uh, do not spam on my, on my, uh, chat box. Otherwise, I have to give you a timeout, and if you keep repeating that, you're out of here. And, uh, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be, um, crusting anything out yet. Um, what else? What else? Who's the bird? Who's got the bird? You're dropping me hippo. I guess one more mammal won't won't I won't mind just one more mammal. They said pygmy, right? Go, fellas, a pygmy hippo. Mm. All right, all right, I'll just draw the bird. <laughs> um, let's see. If you... I guess someone else heard about the hippos living in Colombia. Uh, yes, apparently there's this thing about wild hippos roaming around Colombia. Did they escape from a zoo or a preserve or something? Because um, naturally the hippo resides only in Africa. There used to be a few hippos in other countries. There be a couple of hippos in Europe and in Madagascar, but now they're extinct. Have you heard of the actress Tara Strong? The woman of a thousand voices, the female Mel Blanc, right? 
She um, voices almost every single, at least one female character in almost every show I've I've seen as a kid and even today. I mean, uh, she's Twilight Sparkle. She's uh, Flashwing. She's Scarlet Witch in the Superhero Squad. She's uh, Bubbles. She's Timmy Turner, Ben Tennyson, hmm. and so many other characters that it'll take me and it'll take me all of the live stream to enlist at all. So what was it again? Um, <laughs> let's see, um, Pigeon Eagle. Now here's another interesting fact. Um, e eagles are basically of America. I mean, if you go over the White House or in other states in the U.S., you will see at least one. You will see at least one eagle drawing a representation in there. But um, that's not the only country that represents eagle as a symbol. Well, then in Malaysia we have this. We there's this island. In that me and my family would often uh, would often um, go to for vacation called Langkawi. It's and Langkawi means uh, I think it means a big eagle or something. Um, and we and we we also use the eagle as a symbol for Langkaw for for the island. Uh, no, this head is a bit too weird. <laughs> Here we go, we have an eagle. <laughs> Imagine if there are rhinos in the US. I think there were a few rhinos, they, but they were but they all became extinct during the Ice Age. I think there were a couple of woolly rhinos, but um, but they but they're more com they were they were more common in Siberia, uh, and other parts of Europe. Let's see. So who wants the insect? Who wants the insect? Who's Buzzy? Um, wasn't he one of the vultures from the Jungle Book? Did you know Grey Delisle? I uh, yes, another um, a close friend to Tara Strong, and yeah, and also another woman who's done a lot of voice roles. In fact, she, if you look on behind the voice actors dot website, uh, she and Tara Strong ha are the on are currently the only female voice actors who have, and. Do I have to say how many roles she played? Um, Mandy from Billy and Mandy, Daphne from Scooby Doo, um, Mesmeralda, Smolder Dash, and Beachcomber from the Skylanders games, Chill, Ninjini, and Sprocket in the Skylanders Academy shows, Vicky from from Fairly Odd Parents, Lana, Lola, and Lily from The Loud House, um, Azula from Avatar: The Last Airbender. The list goes on. Whew, whew. So what was it again? Blue Beetle, Ladybug, Bumblebee, Bee Drill. Um, all right, all right, all right. Now that's an insect. <laughs> Did you know Kevin Michael Richardson? 
Um, yes, um, he's um, Cleveland Brown Jr. from the Cleveland Brown Show. And I heard he's become the new voice of Dr. Hibbert in The Simpsons. Ever since the Black Lives Matter movement, he, Dr. Hibbert has got a new voice actor. Um, he, um, was it Harry Shear or Hank Azaria that that was the voice of uh, Dr. Hibbert? Let me know in the comments. Remind me, was it Doc, was it? Hank or Harry that was that was the voice of Dr. Herbert before Kevin Michael Richardson took over. You are so profound a laugh. Um what? Yes, I, I like Aladdin a lot, but uh, which one but what what exactly are you talking about? Here we go, we have a mantis eating, a female mantis eating the head of the husband. Just like, um, just like, um, they did in real life. In case you don't know, praying mantises, they, the males always give the females their heads. And strangely enough, they do, they do live for a short time wearing, uh, something I cannot mention on YouTube because it goes against guidelines. Um... But, um, and when she's finished with whatever she wants, the, the body is tossed. Amphibians. Amphibians. Oh, see, see, the... Oh, yes, um... Now here's a funny thing about um, poison frogs. Despite, um, now poison frogs are in fact very toxic. Um, they um they they say a, a milligram one milligram of its venom can kill ten thousand people. Hmm. Hmm. Um, but, um, they, here's the funny thing. They were not naturally born with the ven, with the poison. They, they get their poison by the amount of, uh, by, by whatever, um, they get their venom through whatever, um, uh, uh, bug they eat. There's a, they eat a specific type of bug and that's what caused them the toxins. There is also another. Apparently, that's also what happened to a certain bird. There's a bird, I, I've forgotten its name. Just look up poisonous bird, and it also has a similar diet to the poison frog. There you go, fellas. Here's a poison frog. Don't touch it. Okay. Now this part is is when things get kind of scary. Which arachnid do you want me to draw? Do you want me to draw a spider? What type of spider? Do you want me to draw a scorpion? What kind of scorpion? The the, the ones with the poisonous stings, the the ones with the whip tails instead. The one the one that kind of looks like a spider but is more closely related to scorpions called a sun spider. Um Let's see. Black Widow, it breaks my heart. How do you feel about blue sky shutting down? I feel sad. I feel s I, I feel I feel sad because blue sky um did have some good some good films and did have some really good films. I did enjoy the first three Ice Age films. I did enjoy Robots, Epic, and the Peanuts movie. Um, I, I didn't mind Ferdinand much either. In fact, the films were fine. At worst, their films are either serviceable or pretty mediocre. The only real big stinker they ever made was Ice Age Collision Course. That's when they, that's when I can, we, sh we should probably stop with these Ice Age films. And it's a shame that... Okay, okay, stop it. Okay, that's in, that's, please, please, refrain from spamming too much, okay? 
Please stop spamming your requests. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hmm. And I do have another version. I did have another I version of this if you want. Now, normally when it comes to spiders, um, it usually in my world, I usually just like to use only... Um, I, I give um, spiders only um, three um, three legs instead of four legs on each um, six legs instead of three because of eight because uh, it helps uh, mix their animation a lot easier that there are some franchises I know where you see a spider with six legs instead of three instead of eight like uh, Skylanders, for example, it has um, the gargantulas have six legs instead of uh, instead of eight, and um, but even still, the the spiderlings, the spider swarmers, they all have four legs only. Hmm. Um. Okay, so um. Which which little guy which which one do you want me to draw as a crustacean? Is it the crab? Is it a lobster? Is it a is it um a shrimp, a prawn, or is there another crustacean that I probably don't know about and you guys can help me out on that one? I love your zoo tycoon two mods. Really? You actually like my zoo tycoon mods? I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of embarrassed by them. With only with only a couple of exceptions, like my cartoon vi, the brain pack. Those are my those are the ones I I um, am okay with. Those are those I think are my best are my best um, creations. The rest not so much. Let's see, red lobster, red lobster. Let me let me see what a red lobster looks like. Does it? I know I know that there are types there are few types of lobsters that uh, don't that either have a uh, big claws or they don't have big claws but they have very long feelers. Actually, I, won't, I think I better draw my face. Hmm. Sorry, my internet's slow. There we go, we have a, a lobster. Hmm. That takes care of the... Now for the soft ver invertebrates. There's quite a lot of options. There's snails, there's slugs, there's sea sponges, there's the octopus, there's the squid, there's a sea cucumber. Um, what other animal? Who's your favorite Muppet? Um, hmm, hmm, favorite Muppet? Phew, hmm, uh, maybe it's Animal? But I also like Fuzzy. Um, there's, um, there's, a. Uh, what's your favorite Michael Jackson song? I think Smooth Criminal. 
let's see, snails, starfish, sea slug, leech, starfish, sea urchin, snails, leech, spa, giant squid, SpongeBob, <laughs> colossal squid, starfish, giant squid, sea urchin, leech, pike, exactly, no spamming, uh, SpongeBob, pike, squidward tentacles, have you heard of the actor Mark Hamill? Isn't he, um, um, that Mark Hamill, wasn't he the s same guy who played Luke Skywalker from Star Wars? And the same guy who voiced Joker in a lot of Batman incarnations, especially Batman the Animated Series? Um, mm, yeah. Have you watched Johnny English? I have. I like Reborn better. Um, Colossal Squid. He also voiced Malifor. <laughs> he also voiced the... Um, he, he also had um, a couple of roles in some of Jim Henson's products. I mean, he had a guest appearance as Luke Skywalker and himself in, uh, in uh, the Muppets in the Muppet Show, and he also voices uh, the scientist in the Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what a colossal squid it kind of looks like, but um, I, I, at least I drew a squid. Oops. Um. And, um, okay, let's start. Let's go with. Now let's go with something that uh, no longer exists. So which type of dinosaur do you want me to draw? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> do you like Bunsy Buddy? I haven't seen it. Marvelous Squid. Squid. Now, they, some say that Squidward is either... Some people debate whether or not Squidward is a squid or an octopus. I mean... Sure, he looks like a... He's, he's called Squidward, but his, his head is more like an octopus. Oh, the 2020 Spinosaurus. You mean the one where uh, the Spinosaurus uh, swims? Hmm. Hmm. And then Now this is especially um, strange for the most part because um, the Spinosaurus is, um, um, let's see, um, hmm. I don't think I did it right.
So apparently um, the Spinosaurus in the recent nations, he's he's a lot more he's a lot more leaned forward and more downer than than the other theropods. And uh, his tail is a lot more fish-like. Okay, I think that's the best version of the modern Spinosaurus I could think of. Stegosaurus is also my favorite type of dinosaur. Have you seen a tiny pteranodon in Dinosaur Train? I have seen a little bit of Dinosaur Train, but not much. Hmm. Um. Yes, see. Okay, um, the uh, dinosaur is done. Um, a uh, can. When, let me know which mythical creature you want, but it has to be the ones that are more animalistic, not the ones that are human-ish. So um, I'm not allowing fairies or uh, or uh, mermaids or centaurs. They got to be a lot more beastly than that. They can be a dragon, a chimera, a manticore, um, uh, a nuncy, um Cerberus, um, a rock. Um, I can't allow a yeti or a minotaur. Okay, maybe not a minotaur. Basilisk, cockatrice, a bunyip. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Bjorn. Wyvern, unicorn, phoenix, pegasus, hippocampus. <laughs> Have you played Jurassic Park the game? Um, I don't rem Sorry for a minute, I dropped my, uh... I don't remember, um... I don't remember getting any, um, uh, I don't know about Jurassic Park the game, but I did remember playing a few Jurassic Park games. Uh, there's Jurassic Park, a, uh, interactive board game. There's, um, there's a Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. That's, it's a, basically a zoo-based game. There's a, the second zoo-based game, Jurassic World Evolution, the one I'm currently playing. There's, um, uh... Uh, there's another one where there's a PlayStation 1 Jurassic Park game that allows you to play as a Consignatus and um, etc. Let's see, let's see, Lord Richard, let's see, Bun, Bunyip, Pegasus, Bunyip, Pegasus, Jackalope, Dragon. I played Lego Jurassic World. Oh, yeah, and I also played Lego Jurassic World. I hope there's a sequel to Lego Jurassic World. I mean, think of all the possibilities with. Uh, a Lego version of Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, heck, I wonder if uh, the Jurassic Park Evolution, Jurassic World Evolution would update with Dominion. Please, please. Okay, that's it. Time out, time out, time out. Oh, why am I not... Oops. Oops, oops, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Oh, yeah, this, sorry, it's a bit slow for, um, time out, time out, time out, please, I, you play Jurassic World and Lego Jurassic World, yep, all right, all right, all right, um, I'll join, now, now, I have no clear vision on what a bunyip actually looks like, some, in some incarnations, I remember seeing a bunyip as looking kind of like a gorilla. Um, others, he's like a like a um, water creature. Yeah, it's um. Hmm. Um. Let me. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to draw my own incarnation of a bunyip.
Well, I do know of a lot of bunyip that a bunyip is a kind of a water creature. Um, okay, uh, here's your bunyip. I I'm not. I don't know if I did a good job. See, they they as a they say a bunyip is a descend is like a descendant of the long extinct protodon. Hmm. Okay. Um. I. Okay. Um. Now. Uh. Now I don't know. Now personally, I haven't looked up a lot of microorganisms, so there's only a few I do know. There's the little bacteria. There's a uh, my. There's the. Uh, um, there's the, uh, what was it again? The, the Hydra, which is a, not the snake-like creature. It's like a, like a little plant thing with something shooting out. Uh, which, by the way, have you heard of Dungeons and Dragons? Yes, I have heard about the Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game. I never played it myself, but I know it's, it was a, it's a game that gained a lot of cult following. People have been parodying about it. People have been, there's a TV show about it back in the 1980s. There's a recent YouTube series where it's it's done through puppets. Um, um I love it. it. It looks like the bunyip from Monsters of the Mind book. Mm. And what happened to Harmony Bunny? He's put on timeout. He's put on timeout. Do you like Doki Doki Literal? Club, uh, I have not seen it. Have you heard? Have you seen Young Justice? Justice. I didn't see all of it. I saw a few episodes. I, uh, I um, thought it was fine. I love your artwork, BRR Games. Uh, thanks. Um, do you know about the SCP Foundation? Uh, no, I have not. Does anybody have any microorganisms I can draw? Just. What is your opinion on my boy Vulpix as a Pokemon? Isn't Vulpix already a Pokemon? Um, Vulpix is fine. Um, yeah. Which version of Mario Kart 8 do you prefer? Normal or Deluxe? I don't know. I haven't played it. I haven't played either version. Alright, alright. Let's, uh, let's, um, ask, um, uh, Hydra. So yeah, this is what. So here's what an what a hydra looks like. Um. So yeah, this is what a this is what a hydra looks like. Hmm. Or maybe not. I can always just get rid of. It's like a little plant-like creature, but it's not. It's actually a, a little bacterial-ish creature. Um, a microbiome, that's what it's called. Um, do you prefer, what, do you draw in a cartoon style because you prefer how it looks and because it's easier for you? Yes, um, um, uh, because it's easier for me. Now, I usually like to draw anything in a cartoon style because it's a lot easier for me. Sometimes I, um... I um I often have trouble with um other things. Okay, so as for this occasion, ask me any t any type of animal you want me to combine into two. Ask me if you want any animal and combine it into two. T give me two animals, combine them into one. Two animals, combine them into one. 
Mm. How do you feel if CN did the Secret Saturdays rebuild with more cryptids? Uh, I don't know. Platypus is a mammal. It's uh, despite what people say, a platypus is a mammal. It may have a duck beak, but it's classified as a mammal. Zonky. A duck and a bee. Liger. Platypus. <laughs> Crab with a scorpion tail. Now, funny enough, I do remember seeing that a scorpion tailed spider. It was in a book I read. If I were in your place, I would have drawn the Tikbalan as one of as the mythical creature. Tikbalan. Let me have a look. Let me let me just look up the creature. It uh, kind of looks like a horse with a with a with a very creepy like werewolfish like body. So it's a it's a Philippine creature. Here. Okay. <laughs> you see, um, draw an elephant ostrich, draw a zebra with bird wings, coyote and bear. Are you familiar with the show Spliced? Yes, I've seen almost every episode of it. And, uh, de and depending on your taste, I mean, if you like gross out, you might like Spliced, but if you, if you don't, you may not like it at all. I mean, it has a lot of gross out. But, and it has its disgusting moments, but um, I did get attached to it. I mean, I especially like the Rhino Mayor, Two Legs Joe, and I, um, Perry and Andre can get annoying at times, but um, at least this show doesn't always focus on them. There, It does focus on other characters, like Mr. Smarty Smarts, Two Legs Joe, Princess Pony, Apens, and and. Uh, the platypus. I think Patricia. I think that's how it's called. Hippo and dog. Just like that. Just like that. Lion sleeps tonight commercial that has an animated dog and hippo singing. <laughs> Dodo -do bird with a komodo dragon body. Hmm. There we go, fellas. We have a dodo with a Komodo dragon body. A do Komodo do dragon. A Komodo do dragon. And now for the final piece. Just make up an animal. Just give me any animal oh, that doesn't exist, either myth or thing. Just make up an animal. Just any animal. Do you know there's a Spongebob music in the Loud House? Yes, I am aware of that. It, they use AP, APM music. Yeah, I hear that they, that's the same type of music you hear in something like Spore and even Skylanders. And Camp Laszlo. And an Ivy from Avatar. Oh, I don't know. Um, they're naked. I don't think I can go well with today's standard. With YouTube standards nowadays, I don't think I can draw. I don't think I can do the Navi, and and knowing about the Cats movie, it kind of makes the Nav. Looking at the Navi characters, I kind of feel a bit uncomfortable. And please stop spamming. Ugh, another time out for you.
Um, since she acts a fluffy fur like creature with long ears and really long tail. The turtle duck from Avatar. Turducken? Isn't that the. Is, didn't I draw something like that when in my animations? Is that what you're referring to? The. That three headed beast I made? Or just an actual. So what was it again? Hmm. Maybe one day I should try and do an Avatar The Last Airbender slash Korra themed livestream, but uh, or if, ask, if anybody asks me to try and draw an Avatar and, and or Korra, because uh, I, admittedly, Korra, they can be a bit complicated, but um, uh, I can, maybe I, maybe, but they have been chibified before. I mean, there's a, there was a series of shorts where, um, where the characters from Avatar get, um, where the characters from Avatar get, um, uh, uh, chibified. Just, um, Thing is, though, I don't like to be too disrespect. When it comes to cartoony styles, even though I like to draw cartoon characters in the cartoony style, I try not to be too disrespectful to the original source. This you don't want my characters. To, you don't want anything to look like Thundercats roar now, do ya? <laughs> okay, I think that's about it. That's um all the animals. In the kingdom, um, let's see what we got here. We have um, we got an elephant and an elephant shrew as mammals. We got a Draco as a for a reptile, a cool or colon cat, and a great white shark for fish. We have uh, an eagle for a bird. We have a praying mantis for an insect. We have a poison frog for an amphibian. Oh, we also have a, hip a pygmy hippo. I forgot um, for a mammal. Um, we have an, um, a black widow spider for an arachnid, um, a lobster for a crustacean, a giant s a squid for a soft invertebrate, a spinosaurus for a dinosaur, a, uh, know, was the, a, a bunyip for the mythical creature, a hydra for microorganisms, a komodo dragon, a komodo do for, for a hybrid, and a turtle duck for a made up animal. Wait a minute, shouldn't this count as a hybrid? Eh, never mind. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, okay, that's all my requests. You can ask me any question you want. We like Thundercats 1984 and the 2011 versions better. I've only seen the 2011 version, and um, it's actually pronounced Sila Cat. Oh, I remember now, just like the Sila I mean, it has a C O E. He and it, so C O E is always like C. It's an O E is always an E, kind of like a Coelophysis, D Decurus, and so forth. Do you like Hatsune Miku? Hatsune Miku. Uh, um. Uh, I I have seen her, but I uh, don't know about. Poor Lionel got betrayed by his second chance of love. 
Hmm. Have you been to Africa? I have not. I have been to other countries. I, like I said, I'm born in England. I'm currently living in Malaysia. I've been to Thailand, Vietnam, um, Indonesia, four parts of Australia, um, um, Spain as a, as a baby, um, Italy, um, Greece, Portugal, two states of the, Uni of the USA, and uh, Korea. Um, I don't know if I've been anywhere else, though. Um, I'll have to think about... Uh, I, I, have been, I have been to, a, to an airport in, uh, I think, was it Holland or Poland? I can't remember. But uh, it, was a, it was a bit of a stop flight there. And I've also been to Singapore. Isn't it disappointing that there are no more Activision cartoons? Yeah. Hmm. Because uh, I, I was looking forward to see what Activision could do in the, in the film and animation business. But uh, it appears that Skylanders Academy might be the only thing they'll be make they, they've ever made. Have you seen Infinity Train? It's not, I don't, I don't know if I want to see it. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of modern day trains. I'm always more of an old train style. Hmm. Uh, TV tune, I've seen. Uh, let's see. Have you heard about Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy games? No, I have not. So, K. Rule is your favorite Smash Bros. Who's your favorite DLC? Probably Banjo and Kazooie. That might change if, but if, the, the DLC character that everybody, that almost everybody around the world is dying to see um, appears in the game, then maybe I might have a new DLC favorite. I don't trust Amazon Prime after they cut the Crash Bandicoot cartoon. They say it's Activision's fault. It wasn't Amazon's fault. It was uh, it was Activision's fault. Amazon they were they were pretty confident on this. They had the scripts ready. They were doing some recording. They did they were preparing for animations and stuff. But Activision pulled the plug because of a joke. They didn't tell us what the joke is, but rumor has it it was a fart joke, and that's what caused people to get fired. And that's what caused hundreds and thousands of people to get fired all because of that joke. Have you seen the Final Destination movies? I have not. Have you heard about Glitter Force? No, I have not. May 15th, National Dinosaur Day. Oh, um, keep that. Um, I might have to... Uh, wait, let me have a look. Let me check on my schedule. Let me check my scheduling for a bit. Mm. Ah, yeah. Maybe I can, I can put that in somehow. Okay, fellas. Um, what's my next live stream? Oh, wait, just a few more questions. Uh, what's your favorite Star Trek show? I haven't seen Star Trek. I've only seen the recent animated one, the one with... Uh, and uh, it was like, okay. Um, what's your favorite Madagascar movie? I think it might be Escape to Africa. But Madagascar 3, I think, is really funny. <laughs> have you played Carnivores? I think I might have heard of it. I think I may have played it at some point as a kid. Uh, I can't remember, though. Um, I'm not sure what type of carnivores game I was playing though. Um, have you heard of Kids Kid Cop? Haven't seen it yet. What caused the crash band? Is it? It's been anked all along. Uh, wait, is it one of the presidents or something? It was foreshadowed after the credits. Have you watched the tape? Do you look forward to seeing the sequel? I I do look forward to seeing the Sonic sequel. <clears throat> Stanley Kubrick. Nick. I have not. I don't think I remember seeing any Stanley Kubrick films. I am sorry. Favorite trappable villain from Skylanders? That's a tough one. I think Wolfgang. And what's your okay? Um, what's your next live stream? Okay, fellas, that's the end of the questions. Now tune in for <clears throat> for my next live stream. It's going to be a sequel. It's a sequel live stream. Remember my um, remember back in November when I on on the thirteenth of November I did a little live stream where uh, you um, you um, have to keep an eye out for any signs of bad luck and you ask some bad luck requests like uh, don't walk under a ladder or don't cross over a black cat or uh, don't spill the salt. Well, fellas, if you want to restore that luck again, 
Join me on March 17th as we plan to restore our luck. Um, also, fellas, keep in mind that on March 14th, um, there's going to be a day daylight savings is going to happen in the USA. Now, since, I, since I'm living in a country that does not have um, daylight savings, um, the, the, our clocks will remain the same, but the American and Canadian times, they will, they will change by an hour, uh, an hour, back by one hour. So um, instead, of 1 a, instead of 1 a.m. Malaysian time, which is 12 p.m. in New York, it's going to be 1 a.m. in Malaysia, but 1 p.m. in New York, and uh, 10 a.m. in California. So when that daylight savings time happens, it's just expect a bit of a time difference for where I am. Have it be a green-themed live stream. Should it be a green theme? Because I have so many lucky charms in mind. You'll learn daylight savings. Yep. I mean, how else was I able to, to keep up with a live stream on the internet? Um, do you really want me to do a green theme live stream? Because I'm thinking of something really lucky. Anyways, thank you all. Thank you for joining me on this. Thank you all. Thank you for giving me these lovely requests. I hope to see you all in the next live stream. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed this video.